everybody, it's Dre, and I'm going to be making a few videos in order to help a viewer who had some questions about Blender. Um, there are a lot. The, they had a few different good questions, so um, each video is going to address part of the um, problems that the viewer was having. Uh, that way, I could help them out, and uh, I'm sure it'll probably end up helping other people out. So to start off with. Uh, one of the issues that they were having was keeping uh, their primitives separate when they created new ones. So let me go ahead and load up the file that the viewer had sent to me. Uh, the viewer sent me two different ones. Uh, specifically, Doomsword is the one that's having the issues. Now, as you can see, Let's get into uh, object mode. Okay, so we have the sword, and I'm in object mode. But you can see how each one of these, what what, what you would think is an individual piece, the blade, the uh, hilt, the handle, the guard, and all that, you would think those are separate pieces made from separate primitives. But as you can see, due to the orange outline, Blender is looking at them as one contiguous item. And if you look at the outline viewer over here on the right, um, all you see is just a cube in the list. Even when you try and go deeper into it, the only object is a cube. Now there's a reason for this, uh, or at least what I believe the reason is. So let's go back into edit mode by hitting tab. and it's very obvious that these are individual pieces you know this is cylinder another cylinder and the blade itself was probably originally the first cube that is in place when blender first starts up um, so what ended up happening is while in edit mode the viewer had uh, hit shift a and created a new primitive. So I'm going to create another cube. Uh, let me go ahead and pull this up so it's more actually visible. Okay, so I have this cube here. It's created. Notice that it's still not in the display list, and that's because I added it in edit mode. If I go and hit tab and go to object mode, Blender considers this as an entire, as entirely one object, one individual uh, set of polygons. Even though technically everything's separate, Blender doesn't necessarily see it that way. So what we have to do in order to not have to go back and recreate everything is separate everything. So let me go ahead and delete this cube because it's just unnecessary. Right. So uh, when I hit A, it selects everything, but I want to separate specific parts out. So say I want to uh, separate. Oh, let me hit Control Tab so I can select faces. So say I want to separate this disk part here. What I'm doing to select all of these quickly, notice how it selected that, you got to try and hit. For, for something like this, you got to try and click on the black center dot. Uh, no, no, nope, come on, you can do it, there we go. All right, so you hold down shift and right click, and it will add the selection. And then if you hold down, uh, notice how I had selected um, on this cylinder, I selected the entire perimeter of polygons by holding Alt, Shift, and right clicking and selected all of them because it can, it, Blender's smart enough to realize that it's all one contiguous piece. And then Shift click the top of it, Shift click the bottom of it, so I have that. And all you got to do is hit P. 
brings up this little separate menu and you can separate by selection, by material, or by loose parts. We're going to do separate by selection. Notice how it doesn't show the actual mesh of it anymore while in edit mode and that's because it's no longer part of this object. Alright, so the cylinder, when I go back into, when I go back to look at the um, outline view, the cylinder is its own entity now, labeled as cube 001, because it was originally part of that cube. So you're going to want to go through and separate out uh, all the individual parts. Another quick way to be able to select uh, parts of the structure is to hit C. Well, first, let's go into wireframe. Gonna hit 7, that way I can get a top view of it. And also gonna hit 5 on the number pad, that way I go into orthoscopic view, which means it doesn't have any perspective or anything to it, so it's, very, it's straightforward. It's more like a uh, uh, technical design view, you can say. And the reason that you're in um, that you're in uh, the wire mesh mode is because when you press C and it brings up this little selection circle, it makes it a lot easier to go through and select. Um, it'll it'll select all of the faces uh, whenever this little circle is over the black dot and so it'll even select the faces on the opposite side of the sword. It, it, it selects everything all the way through um, rather than just selecting the side that you're looking at if you're say in if you were looking at it as uh, the solid uh, render in the viewport. So go ahead and select all of that and you can use the mouse wheel to increase the size um, There we go. And then once again, we're going to hit P, selection, and there we go. And of course, it's going to be good to go and label, say, blade. Um, uh, I mean, I wouldn't really call this a guard because, I mean, this technically, the spear, the pointiness right here would be the guard. Um, but we'll call it a guard anyways. And I'll oh, see. See how I did not uh, get that selected, that little piece. So you got to be careful with that. Um, and of course, at this point, the easiest thing is going to be to just Control Z uh, back until it's uh, all the way back here. pretty much undoing all of that and then trying to redo it okay. you wanna make sure that you get everything selected so let me do a quick overview again looks good blade let me select this, see if there's anything. See, look at that. And you can just keep uh, selecting and separating until you get everything out to uh, uh, as separate as you want it into individual pieces. Handle. Guide and guard. And you could even select out this, the uh, pommel of the sword. And let's go ahead and switch back to solid. And so yeah, you got the individual pieces and that's that's how you correct that problem if you accidentally do that. It's gonna be a big help. Sometimes you're gonna make that mistake and you're not even gonna realize it until it's much later on down the line. But hopefully this helps y'all out. And if you have any other questions, let me know. I'll have some more videos later on for the other questions. So catch y'all later.